But we just finished. It's 911, so the one after it. 913, you passed it. You got nowhere to pull over, you have to keep going up and do a Yui boat. If you someone's driver to do a three point turn or something, they'll drive into the, this shit hole. Just did a Eastern Brown and 767 Tambourine Oxford Road. And as we're walking out, get a call to 913 Tambourine Oxford Road. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh man, I'm starving, starving, starving. Well, it's three o'clock now. Yeah. We still haven't done any of the shit we have to do for tomorrow. Haven't eaten. I hope the shops are open for a while tonight. This bloke's a really old bushy and he's got that attitude, shotgun, blow its head off, all of that jazz, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with one of those only good snake is a dead snake person. But old generation I like that. I wanted to see him blow chunks out of his cupboard. <laughs> Shotgun, boom! Big hole in his wall and the snake's still there. Problem solved. <laughs> Shotgun. No wonder he's gonna blow its head off. It's probably the answer to everything. Hope his wife doesn't make a mistake with dinner. Christ. <laughs> oh, this can't be him. Look at the old Dodge man. Oh, Chev, I mean. Oh, I have that, please, sir. That, that's him, old chook. Let's go grab this carpet and payment that Chev. Yeah, better. Not that I'll ever use it. Hey, right, sir. Pretty good. This is Brooke and I'm Tony. Where's this unwelcome visitor of yours? This thing, mate, I think I know where it is. Yep. Got a big head, big yep. flat head. Yep. It's dark skin. Yep. I think it's got a pattern. I don't know whether Can't it's a carpet or not, but it is a carpet. Yep. But he'd be under this cupboard. Yep. Didn't want to move when I was there. Wasn't, ju didn't, wasn't jumpy at all. By the time I went and got my shotgun, it was just slid under this cupboard. Let's go and have a look. There's a carpet to reference. I haven't heard this for a while, mate. The gun has done the work. Had a good snake for death on the muzzle, mate. This end. You don't mind if I take this home, do you? <laughs> Is that a 350 or 327? Oh, I, just looked, I, I took a bite off this and lost it straight away like that, and I'm down looking for it, and there's this. It looked like a rat. You see that last cover? This one? Yeah, you're looking at it now. Yeah, it's a he was in behind there and he went behind this. So on the ground? Yeah. You got him? Yep, right down the end, underneath his box. Can I see it? Yeah, I can. The last I seen him, his tail was hanging out the back. At the back? Is this hidden? That'll come out. I will see if I can see this. I'm getting out the wire, I'm not a hat right now. Just tickling me, he might come out this end bump. You see? Yeah. You got him up there? There's a carpet python about to shed. Now what are it? He's a carpet python. Carpet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just have the one. we'll put in your bag. Well, it's not what they do to you physically, mate. Things they can't study. 
I, he will be once he sheds that skin of his. Really? He's about to shed, so he looks really yucky at the moment. That's why his eyes are blue as well. I've got to grab your bag so he doesn't chew in your fingers. The older generation, eh? Ah, uh, well, it's a fighting, fighting and losing battle with these guys, the older generation, but take it with a pinch of salt. We work on the younger generation these days to try and get better results. It works 100% with the kids. Thank you. 